so what's up guys uh today we're starting a new series i would say it's gonna be a vlog series of my training camp for august 12th my fight against rafael dos anjos and this is a really really big fight for me really important fight so as you guys know i could say that i'm at the hardest moment in my ufc career but at the same time one of the best moments so i'm coming off two losses in a row but also uh you know i've been already ranked in the top five now i am now i am uh gonna be fighting a five rounder main event so at the same time you know i have a lot of good things going to me i feel like this is a fight that can put me right back to that mix uh the welterweight title has a new uh, champion, you know, has a new a new home, so that's also, you know, a moment where anybody can go and take over the division, and and that's what I'm looking forward to, you know, to going in there and getting a big win over Rafael dos Anjos, but that starts with a great training camp, and today is day one, so we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna have kind of like a, a little series showing a day by day what I do, kind of basically what my trainings are. What's the routine? What's the mindset for this, for this training camp, and how am I gonna, I'm gonna get ready to put on the best performance and put on a great show for you guys? So we just got here to Killcliff. Today we're having wrestling training, and we're gonna do a little bit of of mitt work as well. So some pads when head with Henry and the guys, and then we're gonna head to wrestling. And yeah. Hard work as always. Let's go. Look, brother, how you doing, bro? Good to see you, Good to see you Sam. In the street, kill it, be killed. And everybody just keep taking their bill. I let the pride get the best of me. I want the fame. That's a necessity. All of the shade that was affecting me. All of the praise that was a check to me. Got in my bag. They get the rest of me. Sometimes I'm way too obsessed with my legacy. Don't try that. Yo escucho, pero no sé hacer lo que me está diciendo, pero yo sí sé hacer lo que estoy entrenando. Entonces, por eso entrenamos lo correcto y 
Voy, voy mejorando, sí. Repetición sí. sí. El cuerpo aprende, aprende, aprende. I, it's, the locus is not about how hard you kick because, because Leo, Leo, the other guy was in the gym, he kicks much harder than the same weight class. Same weight class, but you don't stop nobody on locus. Some guys, but the good, good guys, no, it's the timing. You need to make the time. You need to make that in and out movement so good that every time when they kick and they put the leg back, you count them with a kick. And the next time you count with a hook and a kick. And then when he gets that one, you count them with a straight hook kick, you know? And he did that in every fight. He, he started with the low kick, and then he goes one, two, three, or seven, and he went two, three, and then. Oh, yes, yes, yes. How you decide to go? Make him stuck more. Well, just stay away because hey, you kind of act up and down, but yeah, you leave. And after you go for the set, go try again. 40 seconds, 40 seconds. These Russian guys are not strong, they take him. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, right? That's why they feel so strong. Last. This, you want to take the elbow away, but this one doesn't let it come out, so you're gonna get this kind of pressure. Uh -huh. So I'll try to do it really light on my hand. Try not to hurt you. So just for you to feel the difference. So you did like this. Yeah. What I'm saying, like you do this. Oh, yeah. Yes, because then look, like this it might not even feel at first, but eventually it's gonna. Kind of make you dizzy because I'm cutting your blood, and that's the most effective because that one, even if you don't want to tap, you're gonna go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes the guy's tough. Yeah, you don't feel. He won't tap, but he'll go out. Yeah. When you're choking just for air, sometimes some guys can really persevere for it, and then you get tired. Yeah, yeah. This one you don't get tired. Okay. So you cinch up there. It's the elbow that's close to the body, right? I even hold with my chin. I just like that, yeah? This one is here. And just kind of drive forward, right? Pull on that elbow a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Just no easy. Easy. No, like no need to go go crazy power. I yeah. don't realize. Yeah. Them afternoon rests are so fucking important. Quick reset and you're ready to go again. Yeah, I like to just go home because I like to lunch at home. Yeah. And try to you know stay away from my son and my wife. So that like it's, it's just gives me that energy to go in. Okay, let's work hard now. Because you know when you come back when you come back tonight, you're gonna be even more depleted, right? Yes. Yes. So it's like you're starting, you're missing yeah. even less time. Yeah, you're right, bro. Appreciate it. Single leg, 
fight for the head position or whatever, you're fighting. So keep fighting. You, you, you took you down, you go fight. Okay? Bring it in. Okay, that's another thing. Okay, yeah. Let me do uh, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then rumble. Okay. rumble, okay? Eins, zwei, drei, rumble! So, practice is done. First day of the, of the vlog series of my training camp, and we, thank you. Hey, thank you, Saku. Ooh, this guy is a beast, Japanese beast. He's, you see, he's gonna be a top welterweight in the UFC. But yeah, so we just finished a uh, little bit of pad work. Worked a lot with Henry, and was really good. A lot of kicking, knees, kind of all around. You know, getting that striking on point. And we finished up with some wrestling, hard work as well. Saeed commanding the wrestling workout, and we're ready. Let's go. So we just got done with practice. A lot of good pads with Henry and some boxing in there too. And we finished up with wrestling. Saeed was in charge of the wrestling and getting a lot of drills in and a little bit of, of live wrestling. And yeah, so the day is not done. So now I'm gonna go back home, rest a little bit. And we got strength and conditioning still to go and my psychologist as well my psychology session so yeah let's go wow Vento. let's fish show me how you fish show me you're gonna get the fish what's that bent wow that's it you're gonna get another one How many do you guys have there? Hmm? One only? No, you have two. I got all your old I got all your old data. I got your black zillions data. Let's do it. Tell me when you're ready to come in. Yeah, we still got time, five weeks, so we can do it. Go! Good pace. This work is really good because it brings our heart rate up. But we gotta keep on working to so we work that cardio and body, you know, muscle resistance, muscle fatigue, and just work our way to do that, just like in a fight. Really good. Let's get back to it. You ain't heard Mayweather beating on your subs yet. Whooping on this beat, boy, and I ain't got no gloves yet. We having fun yet. Ready, set, go, go, go. really interesting about this work here uh, I think it really kind of brings kind of like the best conditioning for MMA because it's it's a cyclical work I'm always working when you're in a fight you got a five minute round but during those five minutes you're gonna be moving and that's kind of cardio you're gonna put striking combinations that's gonna put your heart rate all the way up right after that you're gonna be grappling shooting for takedowns or defending takedowns doing wall work and that's a lot of isometric strength and kind of wears the muscles out so all this mix you know and you're never resting you're gonna get a minute rest in between rounds 
but you're going to be working for five minutes. And this is what I feel that Corey does and, and creates over here, you know. He makes us just get used to that work, that constant work, you know, cyclical. We, we go from one exercise to the other. We work the upper body, the lower body. Then we're sprinting, then we're jumping, then we're doing strength again and kind of mixing it up and making it, you know, into a similar environment than that fight gets us to. So it's, it's really good and, you know, awesome work. I've, I've been feeling the improvement every single workout. So guys, now we're gonna, I'm gonna do my psychology training. So that's a really important part of my whole you know, camp and, and even when I'm not in training camp, I always have the meeting with my psychologist. And it's really different than what usually people think that psychology treatment would be. You know, this is not a treatment for any issue that I have, but it's more of my mental performance and how I can improve that. So how I can be more uh, disciplined, more focused in training, more focused in my fights how it can deal with anxiety or different kind of uh, issues that we have before a fight, before a big competition. And also like losses, that, that's a, a struggle sometimes for us mentally as fighters. And that's also something that I've always worked a lot with, you know, with my psychologist. So I think it's just uh, something really, you know, that people don't look at that much, but I think it's really important. I've been working uh, with my psychologist since 2016 and also a lot of other fighters of the ufc now also work with her so it's something really nice really positive uh luciana castelo branco has been you know a big uh difference in my career and yeah now i'm gonna i'm gonna start the session with her and it's about an hour we talk about how, what's going on how my week has been i have my training diary we'll go through that as well and yeah let's start Ben, let's say good night. So guys, this was first day of the training camp. Uh, now I'm gonna head to bed, make this little boy sleep, and then tomorrow morning we have sparring. It's gonna be fun. Let's go. Hey, leave your like, subscribe to the channel. Let's keep on having fun and working hard. Say bye bye, Ben. Say bye. No? Okay.